In the previous sections, we've been looking at things written in log form and writing them in exponential form to find a missing piece, which we called x most of the time. But what if they're in log, if they're in exponential form to start with, and the exponent is what you're trying to find? Well, you can find that by putting them in log form. So remember, 2 is the base, and the exponent is going to be on the other side of the equal sign when you put it in log form. So the way we would write this in log form is we would say log base 2 of 7 equals x. Now, you may look at this and think, well, I don't know what log base 2 of 7 is. No, you don't. This would be something that we would put on the calculator. But now we're in the place where we can solve for x. Here we would say log base 10 of 7 equals x plus 1. Remember, the exponent is what ends up on the other side. Then to f finish solving for x, it would be log base, and actually I could even just write log of 7 because base 10 is just assumed. If you have a base 10, you can just leave that off. I could say log of 7, and I'm going to put this in parentheses just to emphasize that the minus 1 then is outside the log equals x. So then you could do log of 7 minus 1 on the calculator, get what x is. Here, if I wrote this in log form, it would look like this, log base e of 15 equals x. But log base e is a special base, just like log base 10 is called the common log, log base e is called the natural log. And in French, that would be pronounced with the, ver with the adjective second, log naturel, and so LN is the abbreviation for natural log, so we would write natural log of 15 equals x. So there is uh, there are some things you can do when you start with exponential form, you can put them in log form.